referrals. Why should you structure a product or service so good that you just get unlimited referrals? Guys, I'm just going and got my coffee from the local coffee shop, which I found out about by referral. So what's a referral? It's where someone's talking about your product or service for you, and they're helping you get more clients, more customers come in. Now, how does that all work? Well, first off, you need to have a good product. So. This coffee as well is expensive. It's not a cheap coffee. It's not the cheapest product. However, it's the product most suited for my needs. So, trying to find my keys. What that means is if you have a product that's good, better than the competitions, doesn't matter about the price, and you find the right market for it, it becomes easy for people to be able to send you referrals. Send people who are gonna come in and spend money with you every single day, right? That's right, just getting near to get hit by a car. So, how do you structure that and then how do you get referrals? Sometimes it's as easy as asking for it, right? But why do we need referrals? Well, to start off with, the reason why we need them or the reason why we should be thinking about getting them is, is because they are one of the fastest ways to grow your business, which is leveraging other people's time, energy, and efforts because they're out there promoting you. They're out there talking about you which is what we want. Now there's a few key things that I want to talk about, talk about when we get into the office that are really, really important when you're structuring these referral processes and how you go about getting them, asking for them, etc. So let's cruise in, don't want to drive and, uh, and record, that would be silly. So see you in the office in just a sec. So made it back into the office. It's a hot day. It's got the curtains closed as well. Now, when we are looking at referrals generating, the first thing that I always tell people is you need to understand who your niche is. You know, check out the, um, the video we did on the basics of Facebook ads. Now, obviously I know referrals and Facebook ads are two different things. However, the most important thing that you need to remember and think about is if someone's going to send you a referral, they need to know who and why. Right, I, I had a meeting with her. I'll tell you a, a quick story about a girl I was working with in Bali. Her name is Abby McKenna. She's a mindset maven for one of my uh, good friends and clients, the Unstoppable Family. She works with them on in their business and she actually helps them identify like what their problems are, what's holding them back and moving forward. But I said to her, I was like, Abby, I actually, like I've known you for nearly a year and I still don't know what you do. Like I, I know what you do, but if someone asked me, hey, what does Abby do? I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to articulate that. I wouldn't be able to explain exactly what it is that she does to be able to give her a referral. So if I'm out there talking to people, I need to know, I need to be able to understand and identify what do you do? How do you help people so that I could send people to you? So you need to understand and be able to articulate like who is an ideal person for you to work with? What specific niche? How could that work so that you can send a referral to someone? and send them to a great offer. So for example, when I was working with Abby, she's like, I work with ladies, a broad range, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, cool, but for what purpose? Like, what do you mostly help people with? Like, what sort of rockstar result do you give someone? It's the first question you should ask. What's the rockstar result that you could generate for them? And then figure that out. Once you understand what the result is that you can generate for that person, how you can help them, then you identify exactly who that person is. It makes it so much easier to get a referral, right? And those are like, if you're getting referrals and it's word of mouth, you should be able to, you know, if you check out some of our videos on uh, sales techniques and things like that, you should be able to get phenomenal results. Now she's like, Kim, I work with all these people, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, who do you get the most enjoyment out of working with and what do you help them with? Well, she's like, normally it's ladies in relationships and I'm helping them identify should they stay in a relationship? How do they, if they stay in their relationship, how should they adjust their behaviors and help work with their um, partners as well to get better results so they feel better, better feedback, etc.? Or if they're going to leave a relationship, how do I help them transition out of that as well? Right? It's really cool. So I was like, okay. So if you like working with those ladies, if you told me that that's what you do, I can, I know now when I'm talking to people, I can send you a referral. I know now when I'm talking to people that I can tell them who they should go and work with. Versus before being generic, oh, I help, help people break through their limiting beliefs and patterns. That's too generic. 
I help ladies break through their, gener their generic beliefs, their beliefs and patterns as well. It's still too generic. So you need to be able to have, if you're going out there and you're looking for referrals, you need to be hyper specific with what it is that you do and who you can help. Because if you're general, it's not going to help, right? Like I could say, I help people get results with Facebook ads. Mm, that's pretty general. Or I could say, if you watch this, if you are a leader, you're an expert in your field and you run live events, webinars, online trainings, I help you accelerate the results you're already getting with Facebook ads by pouring in tons of paid traffic. Slightly different. Or if I go, hey, if you are a agency owner, if you're a business that um, generates leads and you're able to service those clients, I help you give you the training to implement those systems into your business slightly different conversation than if you're just talking about, hey, I do this for someone. Hey, we do this. Hey, we do this general, right? And then you need to be able to have something for them to send to. So for you, it might be that you have a strategy session call, boring, uh, right? Or you have like a PDF download that they can have, or you have a uh, YouTube channel that they can go and check out, like this one, for example. P.S. If you're any of the people previously, send them here, right? So you need to have assets that you can send them to so that you can help them identify. Might be a podcast, might be a book that you have, uh, might be an ebook that you have that you can help and then provide to those people. So when they hear and go, oh, hey, yep, cool. You're an ideal referral for, like I was mentioning before, you're an ideal referral for Abby. Here is her website. She's got a free book that you can get and then she offers a, a call to help you as well if you want that. Simple, irresistible, no problem. Makes it easy for them because if someone's gonna do you a favor, and send you a referral, you need to make their job and their life easy. How can I help you? Oh, send me people that are like this. They're ladies that have a problem in a relationship and here's where you can send them to. Send them to abbymckenna.com forward slash book. They can get a copy of my free book. Easy, easy for them to remember because people are doing you a favor if they send you a referral. So you need to make it easy for them by number one, identifying who to work with. Number two, identify how can they connect you to uh, you two together. And if you just do that, you will absolutely kill it. You'll absolutely crush it when it comes to the game of referrals, creating the right offer for those referrals to help them. Now, for the referee, what do you do? There's two different things that you can do. Number one is that you can give them a commission. You can give them a referral payment, a referral fee, if you will, for every person that they introduce to you. Or what you can do is they might just be like amazing people and they want to help you out. And then I decide to reward my referral partners. I give them gifts, I give them little reminders that I care about them and, and I always appreciate them helping me out. So that's my personal preference. Um, sometimes I'll get a referral fee if I send referrals on to people and sometimes the same same back, it just depends. I say, how do you want to work this? They want to fee great. If they're just doing it out of the kindness of their heart, then I always reward that as well. So that is how guys, you can make sure that you structure and you get great referrals and you give great referrals as well. As always, make sure you like, if you enjoy the video, comment down below and subscribe as well so you can see all these videos first before anyone else because apparently they're pretty good, they're pretty fire. Until next time guys, adios, see y'all very soon.